Hello guys. So I've been playing around with the uh, server components and server actions and client components and next 14 uh, features in general. And I'm discovering a lot of uh, new features as I continue to learn. So one of the new features that I've uh, learned about this week is optimistic UI updates. So take a look at this uh, chat window here. So you type a message in the text box, press enter, sends to the server, and once the message is sent, displays in the UI. So one of the problem with this approach is you have to wait for the message to be sent in order for it to be displayed in the UI. So there is like a delay in the displaying of the message, which is bad user experience. So you want to just type the message and then once you press enter, it immediately displays here and you don't have to wait for the request to be sent in order for the UI to update. So that is where the optimistic UI updates come in. So optimistic UI is uh, you are able to predict the result that, uh, that an action will produce and you're able to update your UI even before the result is sent back to you. So you update the UI while the request is being sent in the background. So how do we do that? So before you write code, let's uh, briefly go through our code and what it does. So we have a chat component here. So the chat component stores the messages in a array here in a state variable. And then we have uh, the handle send message function here that uh, calls a server action called send message. And then once the message is sent, it updates our state variable with a new message. So this server action for testing purposes, it uh, just sleeps for one second and then returns the message. So inside this chart component, we have a message list component here where we pass it the messages and the function that uh, sends the messages. So the message list receives those two values and then displays the messages and then displays a form at the bottom here, which when submitted calls our handle submit function here. So our handle submit function function here is also a server action so it gets the form data from the submission uh, gets the text resets the form after submission and then calls the handle send message function that you have passed to it and also the submit button here is a, a simple button which shows the two states sending and send state picks this state from the use form status hook that is used together with the server actions with the form elements so first of all this setup here is so impressive because we haven't used any API routes. Everything is just handled by server actions. So let's look at our message lists component here. So we are displaying the messages directly from uh, the props here. So we want to implement our optimistic UI feature inside this component. So there is a React hook called the use optimistic hook that handles the sort of thing that we want to implement. And this hook is not generally available to all uh, of React right now. So we'll be able to use it because Next.js uses uh, the canary release of uh, React. So it ships with this hook. So let's just go ahead and try to implement this hook. So it will work just like the state uh, variable hook. So you have uh, an array with two values. So we have optimistic messages and then another function that adds an uh, optimistic message. And all these are available in the use optimistic hook from React. So the use optimistic hook accepts two values. So one value is uh, the initial value of the data that you want to optimistically update. So one, we can use the messages just from the props. So this is the initial value. And then the next prop is uh, the reducer function that will update these messages with a new value. So the reducer function accepts two props. So that is the, the previous state and then the message that you want to update that state with. So that function returns a new array. So we just return the previous state and then append our message at the end of this list. So this should be enough to set up our optimistic uh, hook. So we can use this immediately after the form is submitted. So after the form is submitted, before we reset the form, let's add our message to the optimistic uh, state. And then inside our function that displays uh, our messages here, instead of using it from the props, let's use uh, the optimistic messages value. So let's save this and uh, see how this works. So let's refresh our page. So you can try sending a test message. So you can see the message appears immediately we send here.
hit enter. Also notice that uh, our, the request to send the data is still being sent here by our server action. And you can see even it's reflected in the button UI here. So the message is sent in the background and we still update the UI without having to wait for the response to the message. So personally that is amazing. So there is several advantages to using this hook. Okay, so let's say sending this uh, message um, fails halfway through and uh, the message is not sent and updated successfully. So for example, let's say in the chat UI here, so between sending the message and updating our data store we could for example throw an error right so we'll send the message but now we won't be able to update our ui right so this handle send message function here we have uh, forced it to fail so let's just uh, wrap it in a try catch uh, block right so that we can be able to handle the error so something like that so let's see how it behaves if uh, this handle send message fails so this message fails so let's send so you can see it has updated and then immediately removed it after the request failed so this hook also handles situations where the data was not sent successfully so the obvious way to handle that is uh, to remove the item from the list because it was not sent successfully or you could for example have a indicator here like uh, text messages used to tell the user that this message failed to send so the important thing is uh, the use optimistic hook was able to handle that in case of a failure because uh, we are just storing an array here in the optimistic messages we could add whatever we want to example tell the ui how to behave if uh, the message has not been sent so for example this is the message you are pushing to the list before the message is sent so you can add another prop here something like uh, is sending uh, to true so that uh, when displaying the messages here, we could, uh, for example, add a class name uh, that depends on the sending uh, state of the message. So for example, what uh, this sending class does for us here, it will add a, a blue background color to messages while they are sending. So if we do a hello world, you can see it has a blue background while sending. So so let's fix uh, this throw we added here. So let's test. So test message. It has a blue overlay and then turns back to white if uh, the message succeeded uh, sending so a pretty simple feature but will be a huge improvement to your user and then also the implementation was uh, not that hard to do so that is all i hope you learned something new today thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video